it is me, Lily, and this is part one of my tour of the old Euclid Hills building. So, I started this project um, as a way to keep a record of what this place was like. Because, as you know, in 2021, this building was demolished and replaced with a newer building. And I went to this school from 20... 13 to 2018, I think, and I spent, I was there from kindergarten to fifth grade. It just, that this whole place means a lot to me, and there's no real record of this building anywhere on the internet, so I wanted to put it out here to sort of put this building out here. Um, so this is part one. It'll be the inside of the building. Part two will be the um, exterior, the playgrounds, everything like that, everything in that sort. Um, so it, the world download is, of course, in the description if you want to explore yourself. But if you don't have Minecraft Java or anything, that's what this video is for. So you're going to spawn right here. Um, and if you start your world, you're going to come this way. Um, and you'll be put right here to the front entrance. So it says Euclid Hills Elementary, and you go in through the foyer, and then you go into the lobby. Um, so here, there are just some of the sort of office-y buildings, rooms. I mean, there's the psychologist, the nurse, if you want to go in here, I... All these setups are pretty primitive, not gonna lie, mostly because I haven't really been in these rooms. We got a copy room, the front desk, guidance, uh, principal's office, and conference room. As I said, this is pretty basic, um, just because there's not really much in these rooms, and I doubt how many of you have really been in these rooms, because I'm guessing most people here watching this video are former students. So let's get into the pods. All the teachers listed on here are just the teachers I remember having, so not all the timelines might line up. Like, <laughs> so it's not all perfect, but these are like the teachers I had when I was in first grade. So you, all the pods are more or less the same. You just have the desks, the little, these are supposed to be the little things where you put your bags, just a bunch of paintings, which are like the posters or whatever, and like a whiteboard. All the pods sort of look the same, all the rooms sort of look the same. There's not really much I really could do with that. I know every teacher has their own way of designing their rooms, but you can't really portray that in Minecraft, so that's all I got. Here's second grade. I'll show you all the rooms. Nothing too special. Alright, so go down this hallway. We got the girls in the boys' bathroom. Uh... Yeah. And then over here we got the publishing center, ESL. On this side we got the book room and OT, PT, speech. Um, and then that one exit that people use sometimes. So let's go this way first. This is the library. I just have the books and the carpet and the desk and just sort of that. And then go in here, this is that pod with like special ed and stuff. We got, this is supposed to be Mr. Harrison's room. Um, I put like Phillies and Eagles posters because I feel like he would do that. Um, and over here, this was like for the one reading group room, just a bunch of tables and things. On this end, we got um, Mrs. Jackson's room. I remember her having this like little nook to sit in. And like you had a trampoline. I spent a lot of time in that room, so this one I especially put a lot of care into. Here's the computer lab. The computer lab, they kind of put an end to that after I was like in like first grade, but I just remember it being there, so I put it there, and it was probably there for a long time. If you go out here, you can go into the modular classrooms. On this end is Mrs. Norris, the gifted support. I was in this room a lot too, so. I tried to make it at least as accurate as I can in Minecraft. Um, and then you got the water cooler, and then the unicorn room over here, just a bunch of books. So let's head back over to the main intersection. 
And let's go straight this way. We got more bathrooms. And then we got the... Is this fifth grade? Yeah, this is the fifth grade pod. Same sort of thing. As I said, all these rooms are going to look pretty similar. But I'll show them off anyway. Here's third. And then here is fourth. Alright, so with all this sort of boring stuff out of the way, let's go down here for the special rooms. Here is the autistic support rooms. Um, I haven't been in here much, but I know there's like that swing thing. I got to go on that once. It was awesome. I highly recommend it. <laughs> so there's that like swing. Um, these are the kindergarten rooms, just sort of some tables. I don't remember much from kindergarten, so that's the best I got. The other kindergarten, they all, they're like combined, you know. So here's the art room. Of course, I tried to put as much love and care into this one, especially. Um, if you aren't aware, the art teacher I had from kindergarten through fifth grade passed away in 2019, so I really wanted to make this place special. I just, the one thing I remember about her is that she put everything on the walls, so I just absolutely covered the walls with paintings, tried to make it colorful, and just like the tables. Um, so that's her room. I put the teacher's lounge. I was, ac I was actually in here a lot because my Girl Scout meetings were in here. So, it's really, it's really boring. It's just some, like, tables and coffee machines. <laughs> um, over in here is the kitchen. It's a bunch of iron blocks. I don't really know how to make kitchen equipment, and honestly, most kitchen equipment looks like that anyway. So, um, we got those little bathrooms in the music hallway. These are supposed to be music stands. Use your imagination. Uh, this is the orchestra and band room. I was in orchestra for like a year. I think it just kind of looked like that. And then over on this end, we got Mr. Niccolo's room. And the door to the stage, I'll show that off in a minute. So over here, we got the sinks that were put in in like third grade or something. And then over here is the gym cafeteria. I think it had a special name. I forget what it's called. But here... This is like the pull-out tables, that's what these are supposed to be, and the jump rope for heart toasters. Um, and here's the door to the kitchen, and like the garage thingy. Uh, the office. And I know there was like some like hallway or some weird thing that like was in here, but I don't really remember what that looked like. So these are just some doors. And then here's the stage. And here are the doors out. So I'm going to go over the outside in the next video. But here, that is the tour of the inside of the building. So thank you so much for everyone who supported me through this. Especially thank you to Mr. Gearing, the principal, for giving me all the building plans, making sure this is as accurate as possible. And just thank you to everyone involved. Alright, see ya.